This is the Magnetic Fields homework booklet, question 17. A rectangular coil measuring 20 by 35 millimetres with 650 turns is rotated about a horizontal axis which is at right angles to a uniform field of flux density 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3 tesla. Do look at the diagram as you read the question and just gather the information and let you let yourself get your head around it. The plane of the coil makes an angle of theta with the vertical as shown in the two diagrams. At this point you need to take great care as to which angle you have been given. When you look at the data sheet for example and see the equation that flux equals BA cos theta, the theta in that equation refers to the angle made between the normal to the coil and the magnetic field. That is the theta that I have marked in blue in this diagram. So here is the normal facing the area of the coil, here is the direction of the field and the theta defined in the equation is shown here. Now looking at this diagram you'll see that this angle in between is 90 minus theta which means this one is theta so my blue theta equals the black theta in, given in the question. So you have checked that you have been given the relevant angle. It is possible in a more challenging question that they might just label an angle in a diagram and give you the alternative one in which case you have to be ready to convert. So, having checked that, you can state the value of the angle theta when the magnetic flux through the coil would be a minimum. So, look at this diagram. The minimum flux through the coil would be when the coil sits horizontally uh, along the field lines. And that means the angle theta would be 90 degrees. Next, you're asked to calculate the magnetic flux passing through the coil when theta is 30 degrees. Now, because you've already done that checking earlier, you're safe to take this equation from the data sheet and use it. So it's straightforward. We have the flux density multiplied by the dimensions of the coil to give the area times cos of 30. And that gives us an answer of 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6, and you need the units of Weber. Finally, you're asked for the maximum flux linkage through the coil as it rotates. Now, the maximum flux linkage will correspond to when the coil is sitting vertically, and the area, the full area, is facing the field lines uh, like that. So that means the maximum flux would be BA and the maximum flux linkage would be NBA as each turn of the coil links the flux. So we have 650 turns multiplied by um, the area and multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field or the flux density. Um, that gives us an answer of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 3, and the units for flux linkage are Weber turns.